Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a video for you that's all about the Renetti. In true Drifter fashion, when I get on the game, I just have to use the goofy guns first. I have to level up my secondaries first. I have to get the conversion kits, the ammo kits, and just kind of see what little Frankenstein of a gun that I can build. And I have to be very tactical about how I spend my time because this year a lot of your unlocks are behind challenges, daily challenges. Uh, there's a very, we'll say, grindy progression tree for leveling up weapons. So I really need to laser focus. And one thing I noticed right off the bat is that the Renetti is a very good secondary weapon and the conversion kit from the beta literally turns it into the MP7, into this like 3D printed, you can even see like the white PLA <laughs> on there with the little ridges and stuff, uh, ghost gun type weapon, something that would be very federally illegal and probably also illegal in almost every state, but also probably very fun to fire. So in order to do this, you have to fully level up the Renetti. Then all you have to do is I think you get 30 kills with the Renetti with five attachments, and then it will unlock the conversion kit. This takes a little while. The Renetti almost one shots people in hardcore, so a lot of people do it there. However, it's really not bad for core multiplayer, especially you put a suppressor on there, you get a couple attachments. I like the folding stock. The Akimbo has been a little bit inconsistent for me, uh, but generally speaking, I find this to be the best secondary weapon. It really lives up to the old like Rafika pistol from Modern Warfare 2 and 3. It's a lot like the B23R from the Black Ops series. It feels like when somebody gets in your face, you can pull this thing out and shoot the burst really fast, kill them. Uh, it can be a little inconsistent in damage, especially in this 150 HP game. So headshots make a big difference. Missing your shot is very, very punishing. And you really got to spam it. You got to shoot fast. Uh, you might even see me play a little bit trying to be tactical and really uh, line up my shots like it's a marksman rifle. That's a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Yet, it's still my go-to secondary. Uh, I usually use it with the ability to aim down sights. If I'm playing a really tiny map, I think the akimbos are kind of nasty. To the best of my knowledge, running at akimbo nerfs the damage a little bit, but it's fine because you can just still spam like crazy. You can put big mags on it. I prefer the 24 round mag instead of the 30. I'm almost doing a mini in depth here. And the point of this episode was supposed to be a little bit more fun. But after you've done all of those challenges and you get your ghost gun 3D printed mod kit, it turns into kind of a weak MP7. When initially seeing other content creators get gameplay with this it looked very easy it looked like it killed very fast but maybe had some recoil problems after getting my hands on it i will say that it kills very fast up close and the recoil problems uh, depends on how you kit it but the big problem with it is the long range really stinks. The handling is great. The sights are great. It's great that it's in your pocket and I still have a primary weapon to like fall back on, which is fantastic. That's really the whole point of this video is to tell you, uh, do your daily challenges to get covert sneakers and unlock this so you can just put it on every single class because there's nothing like being able to pull out a secondary pistol that's got like a 30, 40 round mag and just absolutely hosing people. It's very fun. Uh, you do burn through the ammo very, very quickly. And like I said, at long range, it's kind of miserable. At long range, the Striker, the Rival 9, all of the other SMGs are going to vastly outperform this. But the point of this is if you have a goofy weapon like the Pulley Knot LMG and you need something for up close, or if you have a sniper rifle and you need something for up close, this is very serviceable for up close. It is reasonably competitive with the Striker and the Rival 9 in true close quarters combat and worth your time to unlock. So I'm not doing a full in-depth this year, but I still like talking about guns. That's kind of my whole opinion on this. One thing I do want to say that's really unrelated to the rest of the video is that I noticed that the skill matching or the sweat of the player base or the overall tryhardedness of lobbies has been increasing very rapidly. When the game first came out, of course, all the hardcore players were on, but they were playing aggressively. They were running around, they were trying to get their weapon unlocked, they were trying to do cool tricks, executions, get the headshots, get the camos, and I really enjoy that sort of chaotic Call of Duty, that classic uh, run and gun, if you die, whatever, just push back in, throw your grenades. But over the last couple of days, the competitiveness has slowly ramped up, at least on my account, and an increasing number of players seem to think that they're playing CDL for some reason. I see a lot of guys with assault rifles holding hard head glitches, and uh, not, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it gets a little weird when that's all that they do. And the game mode where this has been especially egregious is Hardpoint. So I think Hardpoint's a really great competitive mode, probably the best competitive mode. And I also think it's a really fun casual mode, but I just haven't seen anybody playing it casually in a long time. Uh, if I want to really go sweat, if I really just want to go get destroyed, 
hard points where I'm going to go. And I don't know if this is a problem with my skill matching increasing. I think that's some of it. And some of it's also probably that the community has had their fun, they've done their tricks, they've kind of explored the game, they know what they want. And now more and more players are playing to win and less so for fun or for camos or weapon exploration or stuff like that. So uh, increase uh, opinions in the future you may see get increasingly negative or salty for me as I continue to get spanked. It's a little bit hard to game from the bed. So I have many complaints here and there. But one thing I'm not going to complain about is war mode. War mode is... Uh, totally crazy and it's a really good place to rack up a lot of kills. I have a lot of fun with it, so I hope you enjoy this war mode gameplay. Oh no we can't! Or well, at least I can't. I'm just gonna get blown up immediately, love it. You see how like when we were, oop they're taking B. Not for long, there's so they're many on B now. Wall? No way! They hit B so hard. All right, I'm in the little building camping. What's a camping no! Uh, I just killed three of them. Hopefully, that stopped. Them. We just Bro. gotta hold out for one more minute. I've been spawn dying the last five minutes. Love that. Oh no, that frag might have just won them around. Oh, that nade though. Oh no, someone right, went right by you, Drifter. Look, I actually just went on a little streak right there, okay? <laughs> I, I was like fucking that. holding it down, I swear. I believe you. Oh no. It's okay, it's okay, we got this. Yeah, no, we're doing great, honestly. I'm out of bounds, bitch. Oh no, I'm about to die. There's some guy running around with the karma bit knife just wrecking people. I'm He's so out of bounds. I'm so dead. Twice. I just gotta Bro, how do sprint. I even get back? Son? I don't know. I'm so far in. We've gone in so far. Stop the enemy from escorting A true SMG, this is not, but it's a damn fine pistol. Problem? No, it's not. It's great. Ass, use the power of the ass! Oh, no! <laughs> did you I mean, just it kill, like, five people with the power of your ass? I sure did. That booty don't lie, baby. Oh, uh, help me build some barricades. I want to keep these people out. I'm dead. That's crazy. I need to change my name. Target down. Oh, wow, they just like it. blew right through us. <laughs> Defending this area or attempting to. This is really Come hard. On, Nikki. I'm screwing you guys. Now nah, you're good, brother. Oh shit. Yes, we did it. Let's go. Oh, I can't like, see what I'm shooting at. I'm like shooting through smoke to take gases with these guys. Same. They're on it. They're on it. They're on it. No. What is this horse shit? How did they get a last chance, bro? We won. Like this. This is ridiculous. Can we, can we get the defuse? Yeah, we're trying. We'll try. Think, oh, never mind. I'm dead. Dude, what? We just got freaking robbed. Yeah, we did. Dude, I killed we had so many on it last minutes. minute, too. That is ignorant. I hate that. Yeah, they need to fix this. This never wasn't really. The feet? Are you serious? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
We capped yeah. ours in five minutes. Took them 15 <laughs> and we lost. We lost that round. I think that's what that means. Okay, okay. No okay. tiebreaker round. I'm done with this, man. All right, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. I do want to ask for a little bit of feedback about this format. You could tell when I was doing the commentary, I almost wanted to do in depth because I'm still like 15 years later in such a groove with that. But what I'm really trying to do is find a way to make content that's entertaining, that's a little bit more gameplay focused. Uh, I'm a little bit out of practice there too. So I want your feedback. Tell me what you think about doing this where I do like five minutes of commentary and then five or 10 minutes of live gameplay of something fun. All right, that's all. Drifter out.